Hello, brick engineers. 4,000 votes in three weeks. I am happy and I hope you're happy too. I've been invited to uh, the test cell of KLM uh, at uh, Schiphol Airport, Amsterdam, to do a photo shoot. And uh, that's why I'm collecting bricks now to make the real engine in real bricks. So, what are we going to talk about today? Well, uh, it's the 4000 support uh, video and we're going to talk about the design of the engine. I'm not going to talk about how the turbofan works, we're going to do that next time at the 5000. Well, here we see the whole set with the engine and all everything that supports it. And here we see how the engine can be divided in big components and this looks like an assembly line to create the engine. Well, this is uh, the engine itself, and uh, you see the, the fan cowl, the, the big white uh, body around the engine itself. Uh, and um, on the engine you see the big fan. You see the engine itself, with within it the compressor, the combustion area, and the turbine. And the exhaust cone. cone. And now we're going to switch to uh, studio. to see how it's built. Well, here we see the whole project. So we're going to switch off some parts. And we're going to hide the control room, the minifix, the portal, some support stuff, and then we have the engine itself. We're going to shut off the doors the mount, the body, and there we have the whole engine. That's the thing that produces all the power. You see the big fan here. We see the body. Um, these are panels. And if I remove them, you can look inside the engine. There's a lot of greeble around going on the engine. Uh, that's just a bit fantasy, but part reality, but because uh, an engine itself is very simple, but around it there are a lot of pumps and fuel injectors and, and sensors and pipes and stuff going on. So I'm going to hide that as well. And then you have the exhaust cone here this is where the air comes from the thrust put that out too and then we have the engine here's the combustion chamber where the flames are so i'm gonna switch that off as well and this is the core it's very simple it's it seems like to be one big axle but in fact there it's two axles connected here in the middle and that's how a real fan works as well. It's one axle. The modern fans are divided in more axles and transmissions to reduce uh, speed of uh, ver uh, the various axles and turbines. Now I'm gonna show the engine itself again. Now, also Griebel going on here. Stickers with the name of the engine. And I'm going to put off, hide the, the turbine now. And there you can see it's a real simple design. Very strong, very durable. There's a lot of force going on there. But what you can see, it's, yeah, it's simple. It's uh, just Technic panels here connected with beams. And there's nothing more to say about it. And on those panels, on those things, is, are, are connected those side panels and the turbine is hanging in there. It's driven with these gears from above. The uh, electro motor to drive it is mounted in the, in the portal, the orange portal. So, 
that's the engine. Nothing more to tell about. So next time, we're going to talk about how this really works in the real world. So I'm going to switch back to PowerPoint. Here you can see the connection uh, between uh, the portal, uh, the purple gear, onto the green gears in the mount, and then the yellow gears in the turbine itself. So that's enough. Um, I hope to see you at 5,000 and very, um, yeah, many thanks for all the support yet. And uh, if you haven't supported yet, you can go to ideas.lego.com and search for aircraft engine or maybe click the link uh, above this video on YouTube. Bye.